Huanja Fwoof 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 3. And as you can see, making some progress, um, our outfits changed. Bird also changes color because our clothes are now stained with the blood of our enemies. It's to send a message to all the monsters, yet somehow they don't seem to get it. The cave section in this game is kind of, sort of, really annoying. There, There's one of really, actually no, there's two really annoying enemies in this cave section. However, it has one of my favorite enemies. These skeletons are one of the more annoying ones, because there are certain skeletons that like to teleport, and they will pop up right in front of you, and I don't believe this is the right one. Let me just check to make sure. Yep, this is the wrong one. Who's the one after this? There, there he is, my favorite enemy in the game. These little vampires are going... Nya, 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 nya. I want a plushie of these guys, they're so adorable. Look at him! Look at him fluttering back and forth with, with his little hands. I love him. Another reason why I don't like the skeletons is because they actually have a lot of health on them. Like, they're, they're a four to five hitter enemy. As you can see, one's teleporting, and they love to teleport right on top of you at times. God, I am losing so much health to this guy. Thankfully, he drops the health. Ah! See what I mean about these guys? They suck. Oh. Speaking of sucking... Come here. Come here. Thank you. I always like swinging my bat to the, the, the little beat tune of this area. It's very rhythmic. Uh, almost got him in a full combo. Ah. Stop wasting the health you're just getting, man. Alright, uh, this should be a good spot. Nope. I guess I could probably combo these two guys just to get help from both of them. I think this should be a safe spot. Nope. He says just as he gets hit. Alright, this should be a safe spot. Alright, we'll give the skeleton one more round and then we'll head off to the next boss. Come on, back and forth, back and forth. I see what you're doing. There we go. We should be good on health for now. Move it, says this miscolored minotaur, because he looks a hell of a lot different in the title screen. And he shoots cows at you. Very Harvest Moon looking cows, I must say. Honestly, the best strategy, just move into the corner and beat the ever-living hell out of him. You will lose some health, try to redirect the cows that he shoots at you back at him. But I honestly see no way to avoid his attacks. He's too big to jump over, and just the cows always chase you down. So I just say stay in the corner and just wail on him. Uh, I might just have to grind up the vampire up there, to be honest. But first things first, I'm gonna need to deal with this bag of bones. One more hit should do it. Okay, two more hits. Alright. No, okay, no. I'll just stay right here. Okay, and he's out of health now. Thanks, game! Alright, we'll take the pill at least. And we will ev oh, as soon as I say it, as soon as I say it, he knows. He knows. It's like, I'm going to prove him wrong. Get uh, the best way to avoid, I guess, doing that. It's just really annoying. My legs are asleep, says this guy. Strangely enough, this guy, the guardian of the Great Sphinx. 
he was a censored character from the Japanese prototype, because in that version, he wasn't invisible. And the background was a little bit different, but that's just aesthetic purposes. He was also called the Mummy in that version, but I guess because the whole Mummy movie from the very classic Mummy movie was, I think, was pretty big at the time, uh, they had to change him. Although, I don't get why they... Okay, I can get why changing the name and all, but why make him invisible? Like, I don't get it. Is it just for an aesthetic purpose, or was there more legal stuff that they couldn't get themselves out of without changing it that much? Ah. I'm getting pretty low on health here. I probably should find an enemy to grind off of. But I forget which one has health, or at least someone with a pill, at least. Come on, give me some pills. I need I need my fix, man. I'm gonna say right now, that that cave entrance down there is a big trap. The monster is not in there, and all that awaits you is just comboing hell from these umbrella bats. Still love these guys. Alright, well, there's some pills at least. Pills here! I believe the final boss is right there, right next to this jerk. And unfortunately, it doesn't give us any health. Do you? Nope. I'll suck all your blood, says this giant spider. This guy! Interesting uh, backstory with him. Instead of being a giant spider in the Japanese prototype, he was actually a reference to The Thing, one of my all-time favorite horror movies. He was instead uh, a head with giant spindly spider legs, which is, a, again, a big reference to the movie and one of the most iconic scenes from it. Ooh, I'm... Come on, come on, come on! Come on, come on, so close! Oh, this could be bad. The ecstasy shoot uh, might seem a little weird, However, the Japanese version of the theme is actually called Theme X from a Wandering Planet. Or, yeah, Theme X from the Wandering Planet, I meant, from looking at my notes. And, oh, crap. Okay, at least I got some health. Oh, boy, this could be bad. So, the X's he shoots uh, are a reference to that, so at least I kept that in. Alright, there's our exit. However, however, we got three bats hanging right above it, so we're going to need to make a break for it. And go! Go, 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 go! Made it! Kaji 5 Thringby Quism! Welcome to the Great Sphinx or a Pyramid. Honestly, Bert's World makes no sense to me. The difficulty in this area kind of starts to ramp up a little bit. Uh, and by that I mean enemy placement gets really cheap, especially with these guys. These scorpions are probably the worst enemy inside this entire uh, stage. I wouldn't say in the entire game, just their placement in this is not very good. And also, I am getting really bad against these snakes. Seriously, why did it have to be snakes? I just need to take care of this guy because that first one is a good grind spot for some health. Thankfully, the bosses in this game range from pretty difficult to ridiculously easy. And by that, I mean there are two ridiculously easy bosses and one pretty difficult one. Thankfully, by the time you get to the really difficult boss, you should have Bert with some uh, good amount of energy with him, so nothing too bad should happen. For now, we're just going to grind off the snake right here, get as much health as we can because we wasted way too much with that stupid scorpion. That jump right there is a falsehood. It, there is nothing there for you. It is a fake door. There is nothing inside. Don't even try to attempt it. Come on, two more hits. Two more hits. That's all I want. One, two. There we go. I want to at least get health up to the R in round, just so that we know we're going to be good on health for the upcoming fights. Honestly, the first boss fight we have to go against in this area really ridiculously easy. I don't think I'm going to even lose any bit of health to him. You know, knock on wood. We'll just 
just keep grinding as much as- Wow, that was a big bar of health we just got. We're gonna keep grinding until this guy runs dry on health, just so I know I'm good to go. Sorry if this is a little boring, just... If I can actually go through this in one successful run, that would be amazing. Come on, Slither back here. Thank you. Alright, we should be good on health for now. I recolored enemy. I'm surprised you're not purple or shooting your tail at me. Here's the reason why I hate these scorpions so much. They're placed in such terrible spots and they will just spam their little... I don't know what these are supposed to be. Is it supposed to be rocks? Poison? I don't know. It's annoying. Just redirect it into him and transform into Bert. All right. Uh oh. Crap. I messed up the timing on that with my shots. I was spamming them too much. Went inch away under there, Bert. You can do it. I believe in you. I know personally you prefer the air, however you need to fit into that tight space just once. Honestly, going into this fight as Mark would be the better option of the two. Just because this is one of the bosses you really want to get inside up in their face because it's a kitty! Meow! Meow! Piss. This cat! Uh, not... Uh, in the Japanese prototype, because in the Japanese prototype, this was actually a big Gremlins reference. Hell, you can actually see it with the projectiles it shoots, because I never changed the sprites for it. Um, yeah, this was just basically one big Gremlins reference where it shoots little Gremlins at you. Which is kind of nice, I guess. Although, it makes a weird sound in, in the text dialogue for the Japanese version. This is such a bad spot for the scorpion. Like, how do they expect you to get up here without even taking any damage? I'll tell you how. By hitting them with the dab! I'm sorry for that. I will be sure to punish myself after this series for uh, penance. I am a slow poke. He's not kidding either. He's pretty slow. Now, the samurai boss... It's a weird fight. He's one of the few bosses that only has a very small hitbox on him. It's his legs. That's it. I guess the, the, the thing of, hey, I'm slow, is supposed to be an indicator of where you're supposed to hit him. He's somewhat of an easy challenge, although the swords that he shoots at you can be a little random. As you can see, he can throw them at almost every angle possible. So what I like to do, go in, get a few cheap hits in on him. Crap, I'm actually doing pretty bad against him. Couple more hits. Couple more hits. There we go. Although uh, now I'm down to four bars of health. Hopefully there's an enemy I can grind off soon. He can be really easy or really hard, depending on how you want to go about him. I may have just cost myself that one run success because I was getting a little too greedy for him. Honestly, I don't even know if I have enough health to take on the next boss. Because he is probably one of the more challenging bosses in the game, period. Both as Mark and as Bert. Hopefully at least I can get a maybe a question mark that drops some health. Because the question marks can range from either, you know, transforming you into Bert, giving you some health, or just giving you a score. Oh, that is such a bad arc. Hell, I don't even think I can destroy these things. Either that, they just take a ridiculous amount of damage. Alright, one more hit, and we'll be golden. He always drops a pill. Grab it at the right timing so we don't get hit. And I'm kind of nervous. I'm going to see if there's any... Enemies I can actually grind some health off of. Uh, 
Nope, just nothing but question marks. I don't want a high score, I want some health. Which doesn't seem to be the case. Oh dear, this could be bad. I'm probably gonna die, especially with the fact that I'm losing birds. So you know what, I'm gonna go back and I'm... Oh, thank you. Okay, so the snake can give me some health, so I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, you know, grind off the snake a little bit. Let's keep that high score going. Nope. Come on. You dropped me some health earlier. I would like another generous donation of health. To the first blood bank of TBG. No, you're giving me Bert. All right, fine. You know what? Screw it. Face the music, says this random guitarist. As you can see, he's very fast. Shoots a lot of notes at you. Shoots him at almost every angle. And even though he has a really nice song, uh, he is such a pain to fight. And there goes our run run. Damn it. I'll be right back, ladies and gentlemen. Well, I faced the music, and I gotta say, I've heard better. I give your music a 4 out of 10. Alright, well, with him defeated, we've got the key to the area. All we need to do is just get to the exit. Which is easier said than done. Thankfully, we somehow managed to get a recharge on Bert. Thank to these stupid assholes we have to navigate ourselves through here just need to be super careful because we are pretty low on health all right now we have to go back up there we go and this jerk is the worst out of all of them because he stays up there if you don't have bird you might as well just go back and try and grind for a pill because Unless you want to tank some damage with the floating rock thing, it's best to just get Bert fly up to the corner and then just kill the scorpion. <laughs> 